Hey, you're watching MixedGarage.com and today we are going to be fitting the Pilot Sport Hub Centric Wheel Spacer Kit to this rather nice Audi A6. So wheel spacers, what are they and what are they for? Well, they're basically machined aluminium spacers that fit in between your wheel hub and the wheel rim. Fitting wheel spacers will give the car a wider track, which can make the car look quite a lot better. And that's the only reason we're doing it today. But there are some potential handling benefits to fitting them as well. Widening the track will lower the roll center, which on the front axle, for example, can help reduce understeer. There are some potential pitfalls as well, such as increased stress on your wheel bearings, but the spacers that we're fitting today are not particularly big, so you're probably not going to notice much of an effect on the handling either way. The Pilot Sport wheel spacer kits are available in 16mm and 20mm widths. They come as a set of two hub-centric spacers and an axle set of longer wheel studs or wheel bolts, depending on the car you buy them for. Basically, there's a few different types of wheel spacers available, um, from the, the basic kind of uh, generic multi-fitment type to the hub-centric type like we're fitting today. These are machined and made exactly for the car that we're fitting them to, so we know they're going to be a perfect fit. So the studs, uh, the stud holes in the spacer match up perfectly to the stud holes in the, in the hub, and also the centre of the spacer um, is machined to be the same size exactly as the centre of the hub, hence the name hub-centric. So the benefit of this is that the uh, spacers are perfectly centred, which eliminates any potential vibrations. It also spreads the load across the whole hub centre here, as well as all the wheel studs. Altogether, a much better and safer job. Right, so let's get these fitted. It's extremely simple. Uh, all you're going to need is a jack, um, axle stands, a wire brush, uh, whatever wheel brace you use to take your wheels off, and uh, your locking nut of course, and then a torque wrench to torque them back up again. Right, first things first, we need to clean up the surface of the hub here, or the disc here. Um, any kind of material, rust, debris, paint left in there, um, can actually cause a vibration in the wheel when you're at high speed. So give that a good clean with the wire brush. And you can also give the back of the wheel a quick scrub as well if you want to. Some kits come with a new disc locating screw. Um, our spacers are actually machined for it, but they're not in this kit. Don't worry if yours don't come with that. So make sure the back surface of your spacer is clean. Pop it onto the hub, line up the holes, and put your wheel on. Tighten up the wheel studs, just finger tight first of all, and then just tighten them up um, in a star pattern before you drop the car down off the axle stand. So check your owner's manual um, to find out the torque setting for the wheels on your car, and again, just tighten them up in a diagonal or star pattern. So the spacers are on, they're fitted, really simple. Um, as you can see, the difference is, is quite noticeable, more than we were expecting actually, with only a, a small 20 mil spacer, but we're really happy with those results. Now it's worthwhile mentioning that pilots uh, do state in the instructions that the wheel spacers are only uh, specified for use, uh, for competition use and show use. And the reason for that is that in certain countries around the world, uh, wheel spacers are not approved for use on the road. So you need to check the laws of the land in the country where you live to see if that's the case. So that's it for today, folks. Um, don't forget you can check us out on social media, in particular Facebook, where we've always got loads of really cool competitions going on. And of course, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all our latest videos. Thank you very much for watching.